In this tutorial, we'll look at how to place text behind a tracked object, and how to add effects to the text to help it look more realistic. I've got a clip of a French bulldog against this wall. Let's make a clip mask. Create a shape and mask out the dog. This time I'm going to use a sensitivity of medium, and my intention is to put some text that looks like graffiti on this wall, with the dog's head partially obscuring the text. So this is tracked really well. It's broken up towards the end, but the dog will not be covering the text by this point, so this is going to work well. This time I'm going to turn the matte opacity to zero from the start of the clip. And then grab the same clip and put it two tracks below. So I now have the masked clip, or just the dog, on this track, and the unmasked clip on this track but we don't see any difference because they are exactly the same clip. Let's put a title in between them. I've got this one that I prepared earlier. I'll just go ahead and position it between the masked clip and the unmasked clip. And this looks great. The mask has tracked really well. I'll add a small touch of feather just to blend the edges a bit more. And here's a couple of compositing tricks. I can match the white of the text to be the same white as the dog, so that it looks like it was filmed in the same colour space. And if we switch to the Motion tab, you can see I've also oriented the title onto the wall using the rotation controls. Let's watch it back. For more creative applications and compositing tips with tracked masks, please see our other Smart Object Tracking tutorials. Happy editing!